All right. <laughs> we do have a talk bill. We did. Hey, hey, John, let me give you $100. I'm giving John two $50 bills. Sweet. On right your here. table, there's listen and win. I'm giving away two $50 bills when I get done talking. I have to give you one. You have to give. We're going to draw. <laughs> we're going to draw out of the out of the pocket. And you got to fill on your table there. You got to. I think it says listen and win. So I'm going to draw lots of things off my tongue, and then and then y'all fill that out. And we're going to draw. We're going to draw two of them. So there'll be two people in this room going to get fifty bucks. All you got to do is listen with my garbage. How's that sound? Hot Pleasant Magazine, you guys. I wanted to. Uh, before I go into Hot Pleasant Magazine, I want to talk about something else we're doing. We have an agreement with. We have an agreement with Paris Teeter, Bilo, CVS, and Walmart in North and South Carolina. There's 12,000 people go to an average grocery store every week. There's a billboard above the free magazine racks. We have those billboards. If anybody's interested, hey Kurt, if anybody's interested in a billboard, okay, please contact my office, okay? All the, as I said, all the grocery stores in North and South Carolina, they're not in public. Hey, Hi, Good. So, so I wanted to let everybody know that, okay? We do distribute in the, in the grocery stores the magazine, so I'm going to go on to the magazine now, okay? Uh, first of all, inside this issue, Linda's going to be here, obviously, and uh, inside the magazine, we've got a great interview with her. Uh, the interviewer was Cheryl Woods, so I thought that was kind of interesting, okay? Did you find that interesting, Linda? Is that fun? So, uh, I think you guys should, uh, I think you'll enjoy reading that. Um, but one of the reasons we're here is because of the best of, okay? We had 26,535 people vote in 144 categories, okay? That's, that's one of the questions, by the way. Uh, so, last time we did this, we only had 14,000 votes. This year, as I said, we had 26,535 votes. I think that's great. One of the reasons uh, for that is we did use social media. We have uh, almost 8,000 people that are Facebook fans. If you're not a Facebook fan, please become our Facebook fan. We uh, treat our Facebook fans like family. There's, uh, uh, there's uh, a lot of giveaways that you can do during the, uh, during the month when you're our fan, and I think you'll find it interesting. You also get an opportunity to read about the things we're doing in upcoming issues. So, uh, if you're not a Facebook fan, please do become a Facebook fan. Um, other interviews in the, in the magazine, this issue that's on your desk, I felt very honored about this. Uh, I was brainstorming, <laughs> my publishers know, we were brainstorming about things to do with the next magazine, and we interviewed uh, uh, Ann and Jim Edwards. And in the magazine, this issue, there are four president's photographs in there. It's really, really cool. When we ended up uh, doing the interview, my uh, one of my writers said uh, that she had a, she had a good time doing it. So, what do you have for photographs? And she said, you know, I, I took a picture of Jim and, and uh, Ann, and I said, no, but what, you know, in order for our writers to understand the impact he's had on this community, the state of South Carolina, and in some cases the world, okay? Because remember, he was Secretary of State for Energy underneath uh, uh, Reagan. A little story about that, the maid told me this, it's kind of interesting. She said that uh, during the time that Jim Edwards was there, this was not, believe it or not, a Republican state. It was Democrats. The Democrats closed him out of a session for appointing to committees. When they finally opened the door to where he could go in, the only committee ch uh, chair that was left was energy. Now look what happened to him. He became Secretary of Energy of Reagan, so I would say that was a good thing for us. And a good thing for him as well. But please do read it. It's a great article. Uh, I do want to talk about the magazine. I want to thank everybody in this room. Who, raise your hand if you've read the magazine before. Look around. Look around you right now. If you're an advertiser, look around you. All right? Put your hand down. That's awesome. Okay? I really thank everybody in this room for embracing the magazine. The magazine has really been embraced by this community. Uh, and I think one of the reasons, it, I know one of the reasons it is, is can you guys all stand up, please? This group right over here. I say thank you to you guys. <laughs> May I bow down to you? All right, these guys are great. It takes a team to run any successful business. Is there anybody that disagrees with that thing? That's my team right there, and they are awesome. Thank you guys. 
So, I, so I, I think that the, you know, believe it or not, I, I, it's not that I'm out of words. It, it, the magazine speaks for itself. We did launch a new magazine last year called My Pleasant Home Guide. We're changing the name to My Pleasant Home. When I went down to the visitors uh, center uh, at the foot of the bridge, our magazine is their magazine of choice. They hand them out unbelievably because it's the only magazine that they have down there specifically about Mount Pleasant. Uh, as I'm leaving the uh, where I dropped them off, the lady that runs the place or, or one of the people had to kind of kind of chase me. Out. I said, "What do you need?" She said, "Where's that other magazine?" I said, "What other magazine?" She said, "That one about real estate." So when somebody comes down there and they're looking for real estate information, they hand out the Mount Pleasant Home because it's the only magazine that focuses on Mount Pleasant about real estate and the communities within the real estate. So I knew we were on a good thing when we did that. So it's all about focus. It's all about making sure that when we publish something in the magazine, it's about the community that we live in. It's about how we work and where we play. It's about our school. The front cover of this issue right here, if y'all haven't had a chance to read it, is a, Colin uh, wrote a really good article on, uh, on some of the, the, the children in, in our community, the kids, and their outstanding accomplishments and achievements. So when you pick up a Mount Pleasant magazine, you will, Jack, when you were on the front cover of the issue before last, we put four of the final one C's in the front cover. Did you get a response out of that, Jack? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Big spot. Yeah, so his neighbor, wouldn't your neighbor say he wanted your autograph or something like that? <laughs> yeah, so, one of them said that you were in my mailbox this morning. And I said, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> we did, if anybody caught that issue, we did a, uh, we did the uh, best of uh, the 501 season in there. We put Meals on Wheels, we put Jack on there from DCCO, we put uh, Woodwind Farms, and then we put, uh, what's the other one, Dr. Hansen? Habitat. So it was really good. Uh, John, let's go ahead. Does anybody have any, does it, you know, if you have any questions, we support ourselves obviously by advertising. We know it's a good investment. We see the return that we get for advertisers. So if you need any marketing, if you want to focus on Isle of Town, Sullivan's Island, Mount Pleasant, we do direct mail. This past issue, we direct, this is one of the questions on this. I got I to make, make sure I've been. The direct mail did 11,500 last time. Okay? Let me make sure I said everything I was supposed to say. Okay. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, you can use mine. Hello? That's why I brought this. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> Uh, the, the, uh, I have to say, uh, uh, actually, one more thing, two more things. There's, there's four seating presidents that are in this issue. There's Nixon, Reagan, there's Ford, and there's Bush. Uh, also, the, uh, the bridge run is, uh, is going to e-blast. We, we not only distribute the hard copy magazine, but we e-blast it out every issue. So digitally, people can read it. This next issue, which is in March, April, there's 150,000 people that will be e-blast the digital version of the magazine for the past and current bridge runners through our association with the bridge run. It's, it's 150,000 people who have a chance to see it. So, how's that? That was great. We got a draw, don't we? We're gonna do that later. Okay, so there'll be two people in the room that will get the $50 uh, each. And when he draws a name, all you got to do is bring up the thing you filled up, filled out, okay? And then if you guys don't mind, leave them sitting on the on your uh, on your table when you get done. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.